We have on some I'm just tying up my car late. I mean my classic tea. I might need the computer angled this way a little bit more. Hey, hey, hey. Who's watching? Is Lariana on? If you're watching, say hi. So I know you're here. I'm still real st stuffy and sound terrible. Forgive me. Oh my goodness. Lainey has the cutest school pictures up, Mom. Okay. Hey! Hey, you guys. I need... Maybe I need to pull the iPad away so I don't stand so close. Um... Alright. Lariana's here! Okay, Lolly. You're up first, girl. Um, it could be too dark. What did we do the other day? Did we have that yes. out here? Okay. If you're watching, say hi. Tell me how your Wednesday is. We've basically been in tornadoes. Uh, what do you call it? Tornado warning. Hey, Julie. Um, okay. Oh, this popped off. When you make your little knot, if you take the tail and wrap it around your knot, it looks so much better. I just didn't do it very well because I just did this. Okay, I really need an order of water from someone. Jeff's like, you want me to do everything? Yeah. Hey, Christy. Oh my gosh, the storms have been crazy. School was canceled and everything for Larian on Monday. Today was like... Well, I'm from Valdosta, Georgia, and we get tropical storms there that blow in from both coasts, so I'm used to, like, really, really heavy rain, but we don't get it up here much in Atlanta, and today was basically, like, a storm in Valdosta, and my mom was scared of my driving. <laughs> she's smiling like she's on camera, but she's not. <laughs> she's going to get me some water. Okay. Yay! Lariana is up first. And Lolly is my childhood friend. We've known each other since when, Mom, we were born. Birth. Because our parents were BFFs before we were born. So, since birth. And Lariana says, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Lariana. Mom's trying to steal all of y'all's clothes that I'm putting together for y'all. Hey, Marcy. Hey, Tori. Okay, so, are you trying to figure out the light, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff has a very confused look on his face like, hey, Sarah. Okay, I'm sure the lighting will change while Jeff tries to figure that out. So, we're going to start with Lariana. Like I said, she's my childhood friend. I've known her since birth. Um, and when I was putting together your collection, Lariana, I was trying to think of this is your basement. No, this is the garage, actually. We put down some cheap carpeting. And it has an enclosed ceiling. Our basement doesn't because it's not finished. Um, and there are clothes everywhere. I'm between the racks. I feel like I should have a theme song. Between the racks. Between the racks. And then mom is on the other side where there's how many rolling racks over there, mom? Four or five? One, two, three, four. Four rolling racks over there with mom. So there's stuff everywhere. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, so basically, this hair is out of control. So basically, we're going to start with Lariana. What's going to happen is I'm going to show Lariana her personal collection that I've made for her right here. We have it all bagged up. We'll unveil it in just a second. And Lariana, what you're going to do is I'm going to put numbers to it, and only Lariana really gets to pay attention to the numbers right now. And Lolly, I've made it. Um, where pretty much everything should be able to fit you by everything that you told me in your questionnaire. And I'm going to show you ways to style it. Hey, Darcy! Um, ways to mix and match the pieces, and you are super lucky because you have a golden egg piece in your collection tonight that's like the basis of your whole wardrobe. Did you want something, Jeff? I want lots of things. Oh. 
Bye. <laughs> so you're going to pay attention to the numbers as I put them on, and you can kind of like jot down notes um, of what you might want or ideas of things you like, and I'll give you ideas on how to style them and different ways to wear them. Um, and, and then what you're going to do at the end, after we've shown your whole collection, you need to send me a private message immediately with the pieces that you are going to purchase. Because after both of these styling sessions, we're going to have a lightning round where people can purchase what's left. So you tell me only the pieces you want to purchase. Not everything that you love, because hopefully that's going to be everything, right? And um, just tell me exactly the pieces that you would like me to invoice you for tonight. And I hope you like this collection. So a little bit about Loriana, you guys. Um, Loriana goes by Lolly. She is really bright and bubbly and such a happy, fun person. Um, I She was describing her style, and I just kind of giggled because I was like, it's eclectic. Because she's like, I like classic. I like funky. I like a little bit of everything. So um, Loriana is very eclectic. She's also a premier jewelry lady. So she's super into jewelry, and she has tons that can go with everything. Um, so some pieces you'll be inspired with what jewelry you should pair with it, Loriana. Maybe you should show us. And um, so uh, what else about Loriana? She's a stay-at-home mom, jewelry lady. She wedding plans on the side. She's always running errands. Um, she enjoys date nights, and she uh, goes to church. So I kept those things in mind as I built her collection. So let's see what she's got. Um, and she also let me know her favorite style is her perfect tee. So I tried to incorporate those in um, a pretty good amount. I'm going to put Cindy's behind me. And hopefully she'll like what we have. Um, tonight I am wearing a Carly with a classic tee knotted over it. You can also do this with an Amelia. And so this might be something that you could do in your collection, Lauren. Okay, up first, I'm going to show you the, what did I just throw to the table? Oh, great. I'm going to show you, um, no! All right, I'll have to stage those back up. Loriana, I have a black classic tee with your name on it. This is your um, sale, so you get first dibs. Aww. <laughs> um she said it's weird to hear me talk about her. I love Loriana. Our families were really close growing up. <coughs> um, sorry, and I'm still having a lot of junk going on with my sinuses. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, at the lightning round at the end, did I tell you that's when other people can claim it? So at the end, at 10 p.m., um, you guys watch out, and you should be able to um, claim the pieces that aren't claimed. So up first, Loriana, you said you weren't scared of pattern mi pattern mixing. So I mixed a little pattern for you. Um, these have the same base colors. This skirt is incredible. So this one I thought could be really cute all put together, or you can do it without the joy. And this would be one of those great, oh, I left the skirt, sorry. Great date night pieces that you can wear. Um, it's got a classic tee. An amazing Madison skirt and then this beautiful chiffon um, joy so that is your first outfit and then what we're gonna do is this classic tee is gonna play into a lot of your other outfits hey Nicole um, because seriously a black classic tee and this one's kind of slinky material um, it looks really really great tucked in and more fitted I love that one okay this is your next date night look I am obsessed with Anna's and Joy's together, and one of my favorite outfits is an Anna in almost a similar print with an Olive Joy. And I just thought this pa pretty paisley, like these colors kind of reminded me of you, like the pop of orange and a little bit of pink, just like a little bit of bright, happy sunshine. And then you can finish it off with a thin belt. You could wear this with booties. You can knot it at your knee. You can knot the Joy. Um, you can even wrap the joy around the front and then knot it in the back. So you kind of have this wrap look and then um, a finished joy look in the back. So that was um, a date night look for you. I love this Anna. When I pulled this out, my mom was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for Lori Anna. Okay, this one 
is another date night or um, business meeting look. This is a Carly. The color's showing a little bit crazy with um, this really, like, it's almost like a dark peach joy over it. I am obsessed with this Carly. It's slinky material, and um, it's so stretchy and soft. And then what you can do with it is you can take that classic tee, you can pop it over the top just like I have, and you can knot it to the side, and you've got, whoop, you've got a whole new look. Okay, and with that classic tee on top, you can also add that joy right back on, okay? You can also take this Carly, you can knot it at the knee, and you could wear a solid legging under it. You could put jeans under it. Um, you can do tons of stuff with a Carly. Hey, Emily. Oh, Lariana, I'm glad you think it's cute. If you guys love an outfit, just hit those hearts. Just brrr, let us know. Let Lariana know that you love it. Hey, Ashley. Um... Okay, so that is your third outfit. <laughs> ah! You know I get scared. I really need a clock. Okay, it's 9-11. Perfect. All right, this outfit. Hold on. One of my components fell to the ground. Let me put it back together for you. Okay, this outfit is a little bit of pattern mixing, but in a very subtle way. And then it also has a little bit of a monochromatic look. Um... I feel like I need this angle better, sorry. Also a little monochromatic, um, which is super, super in. Pattern mixing is in. Um, and if you don't know what monochromatic is, that basically means you use the same color in different tones and put it together. Julie, isn't that Anna fun? Hey, Amanda. All right, so this one is a perfect tee, which is Lolly's favorite style. It's got this beautiful floral print with um, it's like a blue background with a teal overlay in a cross hatch and then a floral overlay on top of that. It's really, really pretty. I love this one. And then this Joy is a soft pink and it's a waffle texture. So it adds another dimension to your outfit. And then, bam, you've got this Cassie underneath, which um, I love a perfect tee over a fitted Cassie. So it's like a peplum look. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Maxine. Y'all, I sound so stuffy. It's driving me nuts. Ugh. Loriana, is this perfect not adorable? Think of it with um, some cute summery shorts or like a cream off-white colored short and um, or some jeans, some capris, like all kinds of stuff. You can just throw on this perfect tee and go. And then you can dress it up or dress it down. Um... Oh, Maxine, you had to finish watching last night, the other night's styling sessions. You're so silly. Okay, so this uh, Cassie, I'm obsessed with. Okay, look at this texture. It almost looks like um, lace or something. It just looks so delicate, like you're going to touch it and it's going to fall apart. And it's this lovely jacquard material. So jacquard is when the print is not printed on the fabric. It's woven in. So I always say it's like wearing a tapestry. It's so beautiful. So I love this outfit. It's just sweet. And you've got the contrast of the light and dark, springy and bright. Um, and we're going to bring that joy back in in a minute. Okay, this outfit, every time I look at it, I'm like, this is so lolly. This is what I, this is just you in my head, Lariana. Um, hey, Abby. So this, um, I already want all of these. That Cassie, I'm obsessed, super obsessed. Okay, so I picture you wearing this with like mint converse or white converse and just chasing around your girls and just having fun. So this one is um, like a seafoam green kind of mint perfect tee and then the print is just kind of this fun pop of confetti and then you've got this darling julia underneath which is actually a raglan sleeve so you've got the yellow sleeve and if you roll that up on the side then you have this pop of yellow trim is this not so you is this not so you i love it and then if you take them apart you've got this cute julia to just pop on and go and um, I feel like I'm talking really Valley Girl. Do I sound weird right now? I don't know what's happening with my life. It's this storm. It's this crazy storm. 
Okay, if you do not own a Julia, I'm sad for you because they are adorable. Um, depending on the fabric, they can be clingier, but you can find a thicker fabric that's not as clingy. Um, sometimes I like to just put a body shaper under them. I have one that's like not constricting and doesn't hurt. It's actually really comfortable. Um, sometimes I like to throw a layer under them. But guys, this is like throwing on a t-shirt and going, but you actually look put together instead of a t-shirt. Hey, Julie. Um, and Julia's come on. Right, Lariana? Is this not so you? My fave Julia style. Y'all look at those amazing dainty metallic flip-flops. Oh, y'all, those look amazing with. I was like, where are dainty metallic flip-flops? I want some. I was so confused. So that is like the quintessential Lariana outfit. All right, next, my component fell to the floor. Okay, next up we have um, we have a Carly knotted at the knee for a peekaboo Aztec look, and then we've thrown over a matching Julia, a Joy, sorry, and then you could do monochromatic and just wear the blue on blue. This would be cute with just some um, fun sandals or even like a tennis shoe kind of flat, like a white. Uh, what am I trying to say? Canvas kind of tennis shoe. And then, once again, you've got that black in there. And so, bam, throw on this Azure with your black classic. And you've got another outfit ready to go. That black classic, seriously, goes with everything. It's like freaking gold. Gold, right there. Okay, so you've got that outfit ready to go also. Then... Okay, hold on. What do I want to do here? Okay, we're going to interchange some things. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. This one is another monochromatic look. Oh, I'm missing a hanger, so I'm just going to have to hold it for you. Sorry. Can you tell I'm like a little bit obsessed with the tone? <laughs> Changing outfits, the monochromatic look. I'm going to say it one million times. Okay, you've got your dainty, beautiful Cassie skirt. And then you've got this lovely rose quartz Carly layered over it. Bam, ready to go. And then this nice, thin um, Sarah that comes in a two-tone gray. Uh, hello. Who doesn't need this? This goes with everything. It's like um, <laughs> Amanda. Mandy is... Lolly's sister, and she said she just discovered Jul Julia's thanks to Lolly loaning me her big ones while I was big and prego. They're so cute when you're pregnant. So, so cute. I love them. Okay, so that is another fun look. You can also take, let me get it. You can also take this pink joy and just keep the monochromatic theme going. And this is just like so sweet and soft and blush. And I almost envisioned you doing like a wedding meeting in this outfit. And you just look like bliss. You just look like happy wedding bliss, right? That's what this outfit brought me to. Then, oh my gosh, I feel like there's so many interchanging things. I'm totally forgetting something. Let me think for a second. Okay, then... This one, Cheryl pulled for you. Um, this cardigan, the Sarah, is that what you're talking about? Or the Joy? Did I call it a cardigan when I held up the Joy? Okay, and this, this Sarah is a small, it does have a pretty good stretch. Um, I know your arms are smaller than mine. It does not fit me completely. I have humongous arms. Okay. Yes, Sarah. Aren't the pink so sweet? Isn't that just like, oh. Okay, this is what Cheryl picked for you. And it's so funny because uh, this reminds me of you too. Like, guys, when we say Lorianne is eclectic, Lorianna is eclectic. This makes me think of you like back in YSA days, <laughs> young single adult days. And this makes me think of you in like Converse or something running around. So this is your perfect like Aaron's outfit. Throw it on and go. Um, it's a ribbed Carly, and it has these awesome colors. It's totally like a 90s throwback, and I love it. 
Think if you had like a chambray shirt tied around your waist or even a chambray shirt layered with it. Is that not so funny? My mom picked this for you. She picked it up and I had actually already thought of it earlier when you signed up. I was like, this is so Lariana. And then mom like went to the Carly. She's like, this is Lolly. And I was like, true. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay. This next outfit we really loved for you too. It was darling. This is like um, your daytime look. Um, running to take the girls somewhere, running some errands, getting things done, but looking floy. You've got this adorable azure skirt, and Lauriana lives in Alabama, y'all. Us southern girls, we get hot. So, um, these skirts are so nice and breezy and flowy. They're perfect for the summer. Um, Alex, Nana's upstairs. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, my mom totally knows you. She's known you since birth. Is that not hilarious? Um, so throw on and go, look put together, knot it at your waist or tuck it in. You've got the fold down waist on the Azure, so you're gonna be comfortable all day. Um, it's nice and bright, but you can also transition this into the fall really easily. You can throw this joy on with a plain white tee or just this tee and some jeans. Like, you have lots of options with this outfit. And this kind of marigold um, top, <clears throat> sorry, actually goes with a lot of LuLaRoe. Row on and go. <laughs> Did I say that? Whoops. That's perfect. Row on and go. So there's your Azure. There's this really cool jacquard um, woven classic tee. And it almost has like a sheen to it. And then this waffle joy that has a nice stretch. It's so comfortable. And y'all know I love back fat camouflage and joys okay my mom loved this outfit for you this was like one of her favorites and it's monochromatic of course and i know the colors showing a little off this is more like um like a crayon purple when you color with the crayon you actually see it on your paper this like this kind of purple and then this is a light lavender um heathered lindsay um i know Lolly wanted to see some Lindsay's and kimonos put together with her outfit. And so this, <clears throat> I thought, was a great, easy look. You could do flat sandals. You could do some, like, Cecil wedges. I know I always say that wrong. Is that right, Maxine? Cecil? I always want to call it Cecil. Um, just easy, easy put-together look. This next one's one of my favorites just because it's so sweet. I love this. So this is a Madison skirt. And then you could tuck in or not your cute classic. Your Madison's got pockets. Ooh, I'm shifting. And then you've got your sweet um, pink heathered kimono over it. And you're ready to go. How fun is that? Oh, I forgot to give numbers so you could kind of take notes. All right, I'll have to go fast at the end. Whoops. All right, this one's just a bright, happy, solid look. This is a really pretty um, kind of corally Lindsay. It has a good stretch to it. And then you've got this nice, thick, solid Julia. Some of the Julias um, are a little thinner and can be clingier. But this one has a great stretch, structure to it. Which one did you think is beautiful, Maxine? Your comments are delayed, so I don't know what you love. I need you to tell me. I wish the colors were showing better. It's not showing well on the iPad. But this is like a perfect seafoam green and then a perfect coral. Is this not like quintessential spring and summer? Wedges, yes. Check. Okay. Now, Lauriana is nursing a baby. Yay! And so, while she's nursing, she's missing dresses. She can't really wear them. And I know this might be a stretch for you, Lolly, but I think it's super cute. You can wear your Amelia backwards. You can kind of tuck in the collar or you can leave it out. I like to tuck it in just because the tag is right there. And then I threw on this really light, sheer Lindsay. It has um, a texture pattern to it, too. It's very faint. And then you've just got this easy, breezy cover girl. <laughs> easy, breezy spring and summer outfit, right? And it's just bright and happy, which is like totally Lauriana's personality. Um, hold on. Let me make sure I didn't miss mixing anything. I'm sure I did. There's so many things. I love it. I love everything in this. Okay, this one I'm going to show you two different ways. First up, 
we've got this beautiful blush Amelia and I thought it would be cute with a wide belt this is more like a mauve or a rose quartz and then you can throw on this flowy kimono with your sassy friend shake it off um the last outfit with the floral top and the blue background so cute right I love it love the gray skirt and floral top oh I want to be her best friend. Oh, Maxine, y'all would love each other. Y'all would seriously love each other. Okay, so this one has this fun Monroe. You could do a chunky belt, and you can wear it backwards, and when you're ready to nurse, bam, boob out. Sorry for all children watching. Hey, Katie. <laughs> so there are your nursing dress outfits, and you can wear these to your meetings. You can wear these to your um, wedding planning meetings and all those things. And then, if you don't want to do the Monroe and the chunky belt, I'm going to leave the belt for now. I don't love the black belt with this, so just know that. I'm leaving the belt just because I'll hold it lower. But you could do the blush Amelia with this really sweet floral Sarah. This is such a soft, stretchy material. It's so comfortable, and it's, um, it's not like a real heavy Sarah. It's just like the perfect throw on and go. Is this not so pretty? Yeah, it's like a rose pink, like a rose quartz. It's kind of a blush. It's so soft. It's one of this year's um, top Pantone colors. It's gorgeous. And then you can tie it in with this really neutral, soft Sarah. And then this Sarah can also, let me grab it. So remember that Blue Joy that we love with like three other outfits? You also can throw this Blue Joy over this gorgeous Rose Amelia and then throw over your super sweet Sarah and bam, you've got these gorgeous layers and you're ready to go. Excuse my clips and the black belt. Get my drift? <laughs> I love those two together. And then if you wanted to wear these with something else, just throw on like a soft pink top, some jeans, um, some pink leggings, something else, and you're ready to go. So, Lolly, that is your collection. So, I hope you're ready to start writing down some numbers. I am going to um, give each individual piece a number. And you are going to message me the ones that you would like an invoice for tonight. Um, and I understand there's tons. You're not going to get all 24 or however many pieces, 20-something. I know I said 10 when I started these. I can't do 10. It was just like way too much fun making all these outfits. And I have a huge inventory, so there's lots of options. Um, so go ahead and write down the numbers that you want. Message them to me right now. Um, at the end of these two styling sessions, next up is Cindy. We're going to uh, stop this video, and then I'll start a new one with a lightning recap round. And any of these things that I've shown uh, Lariana, you're going to be able to claim that she doesn't claim. So there may be full outfits. There may be um, some separates that you want, and you'll be able to claim them at 10 p.m. in the lightning round recap. Are you ready? Okay. Woo! I'm ready, girl. Let's see. All right, first up, black classic tee. This is a large. It's number 298. 298. And, Lauriana, some of these you may be like, is that really my size? I really did it based off what I thought I would fit would fit you best from the sizes that you already wear in LuLaRoe and the sizes that you told me you are and how you described yourself. So, trust. Trust. This Small Joy is number 194, number 194, <laughs> done. Um, this Large Madison, y'all, this fabric, I don't even know what it is. I have to find out, but it is a mozzing. This is number 149. If you're interested in these pieces, you can go ahead and write down the ones that you love to watch for them in the recap. All right, the Anna. The Anna is going to be number 162. That's a large Anna, number 162. And the Joy is going to be number 173. 
162 is the Anna right here, and the Joy is 173. Ooh. All right, the extra small Carly is going to be number 172. Extra small Carly, 172. It's really stretchy. Oh my gosh, it's so comfy. And then the uh, extra small Joy is number 106. Number 106. All right. All these pieces are separated. This gorgeous perfect is number 165. Number 165. And that is an extra small. This cutie patootie Julia is number 190. Number 190, so sporty. You could tie like a flannel around your waist too. This extra small perfect is number 171. 171. This is what you came for. Right, me. 192 for this small Carly. Small heathered blue Carly, 192. Extra small Joy 177. I love this Joy. Love it so much. Oh yeah, and when you wear the black classic with this Azure, you can also throw this Joy on over it. Oh, so much fun. This is like my new favorite thing ever. I'm going to be obsessed with these appointments. This is number 193, and it's a small Azure. 193 small slinky Azure. The Julia is a medium. Okay, this is a medium Cassie. It's not as stretchy as your smalls. That's why I did the medium and girl. It's so beautiful. 195 medium Cassie. Um, both of these are extra small. Extra small Carly, 115. Extra small Carly 115. Extra small Joy is number 125. Extra small Joy is number 125. This small Carly, so you, number 126. Number 126. This small Sarah is number 127. 127. This is the only thing I'm questioning, Lariana, is this Sarah. <clears throat> and if we need to, we can measure the width of the arm and um, one of your arm sleeves of something else that fits you well. That's number 127. All right, this Cutie Patootie Azure, if I can get it out, is a small, slinky material. It's number 122. Slinky material, small, number 122. And then this large classic is number 123. Number 123. This Julia is an extra large, and I know it's bigger than what you like to wear, but I thought it just could be like, um, I wear some up to a 3X, and I just wear them kind of loose and straight, and then you can also belt it. If you would like. So this is an extra large Julia hair. Number 124. 124. And then this um, small purple heathered Lindsay is number 111. 111. Okay. Cindy, are you on? We're ready in just one minute for you, girl. I hope you were able to make it. This, um, just let us know if you're on here, Cindy. This is a medium classic tee. Love this outfit. Number 118. Number 118. Medium classic tee. Number 116. Yay! Hey, Cindy. You're next, girl. Are you ready? Number 116. This is a medium Madison, 
and you know you can put this with one million things like everything in the world um, a small Lindsay number 169 small Lindsay and sometimes um, people like to take their Lindsay's and do a little tie right here just like one time pull it over and lay it flat and that can give you just a little different look to your Lindsay yay I'm glad you're excited I'm excited for you hey Tara all right this um, is a medium Julia it's number 141 number 141 this is a small Lindsay number 139 139 this is a medium Amelia I believe medium Amelia with ladybugs lolly ladybug number 166 then we have the sheer mauve Lindsay number 176 number 176 and I tried to pair some of those other Lindsay's up with it to be interchanging, but this um, kind of mauve, rosy Lindsay was much better. All right, we've got your Amelia and your Dusty Rose, and this one's a large because it doesn't really have stretch, and so it fits like a medium. This is number 189, 189. This is number, sorry, this is a small Monroe, number 188. Small Monroe. I love this print. This is a small Sarah. This one will fit for sure. Number 175. 175. The floral one. Okay, so Lariana, that is your capsule collection. Those are your pieces, your outfits, your wardrobe that you can interchange and mix and match. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Um, give me some thumbs up if you liked it, ladies. And if you want to book your own personal styling uh, session, you can fill out the Google Doc. It has um, a questionnaire, and that's how I get an idea of your sizes, your preferences, um, what you already have in your wardrobe. Yay! I'm so glad, Lorianna. And um, you can also, I haven't put up the sign-ups for next week, um, but I'm going to figure out some days next week. But you can go ahead and message me. Um, that you filled out the Google Doc and on there you put your preference for days and um, so you can just let me know oh my gosh it would be so much fun in person Mariana I we would just be playing the whole time <laughs> I don't know that we would get any outfits made okay Cindy are you ready okay so Cindy um, I hope I don't have go broke and have to feed my kids rice and beans the rest of the month ramen duh don't your kids love ramen? Um, can you show me that, Sarah, you just had up, Bernadette? Um, Bernadette, at 10 p.m. is going to be the lightning round recap where you can see again the pieces that Lauriana did not claim. And um, we will do that in just a little bit. So, Lauriana, go ahead and send me a message, and we'll pull out all the pieces that you want, and then we'll show everybody else what's left in the lightning round. Hey, Rachel! Okay, so Cindy and Lauriana are a little bit different. So Lauriana is like in and out of the house most of the day, but Cindy is in an office most of the day. And Cindy gets cold, and Cindy likes to layer. Um, isn't it pretty, Bernadette? I love that, Sarah. And um, she loves layering. She loves Maxis and Azures and Lindsay's and Joy's. Um, she doesn't wear a ton of dresses. So I tried to keep that in mind for you, Cindy, not to pull a lot of dresses. I think I still pulled a couple just to kind of push you out of your comfort zone um, if they may be something that you want to try because I found some cute things to go with them. Um, she likes a base of like black and grays and blues and um, she was on board with pattern mixing also. Okay, so first up what I have is I know you work in an office so I know you probably have like some black pants or some black leggings. And I thought this was just like a nice, clean look that would look great with black pants or leggings. This is a perfect tee. Um, and it's a large, and then I paired it with this uh, large joy. I know you picked out a large joy as your size. And I don't know, do you own joys, Cindy? Because I think you actually could do 
um, a smaller size also by the um, sizes you gave me of some things. So just keep that in mind. This is going to be number 121 for this gray perfect, and this gray perfect can go with a million things. And this is going to be number 174 for this large joy. So here is this pretty uh, outfit together. Don't you love that joy? Do you see kind of the seafoam green back there? Super cute. Okay, this next one is a dress. So I'm pushing you out of your comfort zone. But I adore this outfit. You don't have any joys. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I think you can, um, I think you can definitely go down a little bit. Okay, so this outfit, I really, really, really love Cindy. Okay, so look at this, Sarah, first of all. Uh, hello. That is just gorgeous all by itself. You could be naked under it, and we are just going to be staring at your Sarah. <laughs> is that a weird thing to say? And then I paired it with this beautiful kind of like rusty, orangish, red joy that pulls out the colors in the Sarah and then put it with a solid gray Anna. I just now realized that I did two solid gray pieces for you. I hope that's okay because those are like the perfect neutral to have in your wardrobe and throw anything on with. So you could do the Anna just with the Joy. You could do it just with the Sarah. You can um, knot the Anna at your knee. You can belt it. I think a black uh, belt would be super cute with this, maybe a thin one. You can wear this in the fall with boots. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff. So that is your Sarah, Joy, and Anna. And this is a... Large Sarah, number 284, 284, Cindy, and Cindy, um, I don't know if you were on at the beginning when I explained about writing down your numbers and messaging them to me, yay, I know you said that gray, black, and navy are like your base colors for everything, so I tried to pull out some gray and black and navy that I could find um, in hopes that those would work for you, but I know she loves pops of colors too with her gray, black, and navy. Um, so Cindy, you're going to write down the pieces that you want to be invoiced for tonight, and you're going to message those to me at the end of your collection. Yay! I'm so glad you're writing notes. Cindy was like on top of this. She screenshotted me pieces that she wanted to see mixed in, and um, I worked with as many as I could, and hopefully you'll like what I came up with. Okay, so that was 284 for the large Sarah. Then this medium joy, I think the medium is going to be a better fit for you. We're almost the same size in the top, and I prefer the medium or the stretchy small. And this one's number um, 131. 131 for this really cool, like, rusty, this color just pops. I feel like you could put this on anything, and you're just going to have attention because it's so pretty. This is number 107. And this is um, a 2XL Anna. And I typically wear like an extra large in the Anna. Sometimes for the solids, I like to go a little bit bigger. So I thought that might work for you in the 2XL. And then you've got all these layers to stay nice and cozy at work. One more look at that gorgeous Sarah. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is another dress pushing you out of your comfort zone. But I really thought this dress looks really pulled together for work. Hey, Ashley. Oh, Ashley is my best friend from college, y'all, and we live so far from each other, and she said she, like, just watched the styling session the other night just so she could feel like she was talking to me. I miss you, Ashley. And Ash Lorianna, Ashley's in Tallahassee. That's Lorianna who went first. That's her hometown. So this is a 2XL Julia. I am obsessed with this Julia and it has that little bit of black base that's why I picked this one for you and then you can throw it on with like some black leggings you can make it a tunic shirt um, you could do the ponytail trick which almost any piece of LuLaRoe you can just pull fabric from the inside and secure it with a ponytail and then on the outside you're gonna have this little ruching effect wherever you put it and you can make things look more fitted or more loose with that. I know it looks really weird on my hand. Almost, never mind. <laughs> and so you can just make a little bit of ruching, make things fit differently. And then we popped on this really cute, bright, fun Lindsay. It's a medium. 
and look at this detail. This is um, like a cutout Lindsay, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I love this thing. And so this can be a pop of color with other things as well. You can pop this on with your um, solid gray top or your solid gray Anna. And you're just bright and happy and fun. Look at that together. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I love this Lindsay. So this Lindsay actually goes with a lot of things in your collection. It already goes with these um, first three pieces and then you'll see that it works with some more as well. Um, oh, let me give it a number. This is going to be number 128 for you, Cindy. Number 128. Got it, makes sense. <laughs> okay, I love this outfit so much. So this is an adorable Madison. Y'all, have you not loved the Madison outfits I've done this week? Because not to toot my own horn or anything. So this is that extra large classic tee that you wanted. And this one's mostly made of rayon. I actually have one just like it in um, mint. Or no, seafoam green, actually. It's super, super comfortable. Like, oh, so, so comfortable. And it's this really gorgeous blue color, which actually goes with a lot. I paired it with this um, nice neutral Lindsay. It's gray, and it almost has, like, a charcoal undertone to it like the darkest bits are kind of charcoaly and that is a medium Lindsay and then I put this adorable Madison with it and it has um, some gray some red some coral and then this really beautiful blue color there was also another Madison I think that was a close runner-up but this one like won out by far how pretty is that and then once again if you want to take um, that red Lindsay, you could do a pop of red with this outfit as well. Bam. Ready to go. So this red Lindsay seriously goes with everything. Isn't that blue so pretty? I love it so much. Okay, so let me give you some numbers for these pieces. This, um, let's start with this blue classic. It's going to be number 132, number 132, perfect blue color. This Madison is um, a 2XL. I like to wear them high-waisted, and I went with a 2XL for you because you could wear it high-waisted or you could scoot it down just a tad um, and wear it closer to your natural waist or your hips um, and give you a little more option with that. And this one is number 119 number 119 and then the medium Lindsay is going to be number 138 hey Amanda isn't that outfit so cute number 138 I love this one how are you Holly Holly you need a personal styling sesh okay this is adorbs this is that cranberry um, classic that you love and this thing is so pretty it's like the perfect color I'm I'm brunette, obviously, brown hair, brown eyes, and I have really pink undertones in my skin, but this is like my favorite color to wear because red just doesn't work quite right with my pink undertones. And um, Cindy, aren't you brunette? Do you have brown eyes too? Because this will probably be a really pretty color on you. I thought we might be similar. And then this is that beautiful azure you picked out. Look how cute that print is. And it's got that black base for you, which I know you love. You probably have tons of black shoes that go with everything. I do, but I really want to come shop. Oh, Holly, you would be like a kid in a candy store in here with all of all of my inventory. This is number 183, and it's an extra large Azure, and it's the Liverpool material, which is kind of that thicker, um, really stretchy material. So this has a really good fit to it. You can fold the waistband, yoga band waist. You can tuck in your classic or you could knot it. Um, you could leave it hanging loose. It just looks a little more neat if you kind of, you could even just barely tuck the front and leave the rest kind of loose. Um, but just all the way out is okay. I think the knot or um, tucking is a little bit more neat with the Azure. And this is number 182. It would look a little bit dressier for work. Number 182 for the extra large cranberry classic tea. 
Okay, so now we're going to take this same Cranberry Classic and we're going to pair it up with a second azure, which is, haha, ha, your favorite color, gray. And then I threw on that large joy that you love. Um, I think I have a medium one that would work as well um, because I think the large is going to be slightly big on you. I'm going to put it on so you can just get a sense. How cute is just that together? Just those two solids are precious together. And then, this is the joy that Cindy loves, which, why not? Black and white damask. This is actually like my wedding. I did that with apple green. So I love damask. And then, look at that sweet outfit. And Cindy said she loves like a black and gray base and then a pop of color. So this is a perfect outfit for you, Cindy. Um, cute. This is number 184 for the um, Black and White Joy. Black and White Joy number 184 in large and I'm going to put that on for you. And then your Azure is an extra large I believe. Oh this one's a 2XL. And this one's number 186. Number 186 for your gray Azure. Okay. Let me show you this Joy really quick. And I think your Carly's too. Do you own a Carly? Because I think um, you can probably wear the medium Carly's as well. I have on a large Carly right now. And I like to wear a small, medium, or large. So here is the large joy. Um, it'll just give you more coverage across your chest. I like mine to be a little further out. That's why I like to go a little smaller and make it um, less than you do on a Carly. Okay, good to know less than the width of my shoulders. I don't have super broad shoulders um, for my frame, so the large is a little bit wide on my shoulders. This one does go right to the end, so it's actually not bad. Um, I do have, I have tried on some larges that go down here, and I really like it to stay um, on top of my shoulder. I'm pretty tall. Oh, then Cindy, this will probably be a good fit for you. How tall are you? Should have asked your height. That would be good to know. Hey, Sally. And then you can always, like, tie your joy. Do one fold over. Um, some people do the cross in the front and tie in the back. That looks really pretty um, when you're trying to dress things up. So there's the black and white joy, Cindy. You're 5'10". Oh, shoot. Well, this will probably work for you then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So there's this with your cranberry top and your gray azure and then here's the Carly that you love and I thought it would be fun I was trying to think of what would be really cute paired with this and one thing would be to take this classic whoops, and put it over top just how I have it on and tie it over um, this black and white Carly but then it covers up your white sleeves. So then I thought it would be fun to do a peekaboo leg with a black and white Cassie. And then you've got this whole black and white look, but with this really cool pattern showing beneath your black and white sleeve uh, Carly. What do you think about that? Ah! I thought it was pretty fun. So this Carly is um, a large, and it's pretty stretchy. And I've been thinking that these ones with raglan sleeves have been running a little bit big. So just FYI, um, this is number 211, Large Carly. And then we're going to do this Large Cassie is number 212. Number 212. And um, for me, I like to wear Cassie's a little more fitted. So I can go down as far as a small in this material. So that's why I went down a little bit for you in this material. And then you can take this same Cassie. You can put it with your cranberry that goes with everything, which I'm obsessed with. You can put it with your blue, which goes with everything. You can put um, your red Lindsay with it. You can put even your gray Lindsay with it. 
you could be wild and do your fun printed Sarah with it. Um, and then you can also throw on your gray perfect tee, which I love a perfect tee over a fitted Cassie. It gives you a peplum look. It really camouflages the waist and the hips and um, really brings in your legs and thighs if you wear it fitted. So I, I love these together. So this Cassie goes with a million things. <laughs> and that uh, Cranberry Classic goes with a million things. Okay, I know you love um, maxi skirts as well. Yeah, Rachel thinks the Raglan Carly has been a little bit big too. I love, love, love this mauve Irma. It's slinky material. This one's a small. It's super, super comfortable. Has a really good stretch to it. And then I thought it was really pretty with this gray on gray uh, maxi skirt. Look at that gorgeous print. Is that not beautiful? Okay, on a hanger, an Irma and a maxi skirt look kind of weird together. Um, but when you have a body in it, Think about how different the Irma looks on a body. Um, it's more full. It has a better flow to it, a better shape. And so when you have it on with the maxi, there's a few things you could do. You could tuck it in and blouse it out. You could tuck it in and leave it fitted. So pull it straight down, tucked in. Um, you can also knot it at your hip. And y'all, sorry, the maxi's sliding. <laughs> now it's down. I can't do it right now. Sorry, you can knot it at your hip, my hair, um, or there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, you can leave it hanging loose. Um, you just want to make sure, I feel like it looks kind of weird if it's a really long Irma that goes like past the top half of your thigh, but if it's kind of an Irma that hits just below your bum, then that looks pretty good over a maxi. Just, so just pay attention to the length of the back of your Irma. Um, so this is a large maxi skirt, and it's slinky material, so it runs big, and it's number 220. Number 220. I just love that print. Look at that one more time. Ah! And then um, that would look great with your red Lindsay as well, or you could put your gray perfect tee over it. Let's show you those together. Okay, and you could do the Great Perfect Tea actually with um, the Red Lindsay as well. And then this small Irma is going to be number 214. Number 214, and just look how pretty that color is. I thought this Irma also would look great underneath this Sarah. And there was something else I liked it with. Obviously, the Gray Lindsay is a given. Oh, I loved it. <clears throat> with this joy with the black and white and gray so you can do this Irma with that or you could put it with I think it was the Azure I liked it with yes you could put it with the Azure and do a tuck I still like the cranberry better but this is another option if you want to mix and match um, for different days and then you could also do it with the black and white Cassie skirt and I love Irma's over Cassie's because I like a loose top over a fitted skirt. So there are those options. And that was number 214. And then we've got this fun look. This is the Sarah you wanted and the Carly you wanted. And I thought they looked great together. And then I paired one of my favorite classic tees um, to kind of break up a little bit of the brightness in the Carly while you have it with um, this little bit more darker Sarah. That's a new color for me. Which one's a new color for you, Cindy? I'm interested. I'm curious. So this Sarah that she picked out is beautiful. Look at that, all those sweet colors. And it has this really pretty um, pink. And that comes out in this gorgeous Carly. And this one is, um, it's like the heathered leggings feels so so good so it's like the heathered legging material and this one's a large carly and then I put over it a large classic tee so that's actually what I'm wearing right now I have on a large carly 
in the heathered legging material and I have on a large knotted classic tee. And then this is a large, um, pretty decently stretchy Sarah. So this is number 293 for the large Sarah. I love this Sarah. And then you could also just take this classic and wear it with the classic and um, some jeans or um, colored leggings or uh, something like that. And this classic, number 219, I have this same one. It goes with so many things. Olive is like a neutral. Olive is basically a neutral. That's number 219. Cindy, how am I doing so, so far? Oh, the Salmon Irma is a new color for you? I love that Irma. It's a little more, um, more mauve, dusty rose. Let me see if it was showing real salmon. It's a little bit darker than a salmon color, maybe like a deep salmon. And then this one is like a bright, happy coral. So fun and happy, number 215. And then you could wear this by itself. You could also knot it at the knee and put this Cassie underneath. Um, you could throw this Lindsay on with it. I, no, I didn't. Uh, there was something else I liked with it. Oh, you could even do this Joy. That was the one. So many interchanging pieces, I can't keep up with it. So you could do the black, white, and gray over the peachy coral. So those, what size is Olive Classic? Okay, so that was a large 215 Carly. Then the Classic is a large, it's number 219. And then the Sarah is a large, it's number 293. All right. And then we've got another maxi outfit for you. And I know, like I said earlier, the Irma with the maxi on the hanger looks funky, but when you have it on a body, it looks much better. But I just thought this black base with these bright pops of color would be so you. So you could do the Irma and the Joy together and do black leggings or even like this fuchsia color legging. Um, or you could do like a black skirt or you could do this fun fuchsia colored skirt with a very subtle print and it matches this gorgeous joy perfectly and so you could wear these two together with a black top I really love the teal though with it and like I said you can knot it at your hip um, you can kind of raise it like that and um, I just love this Irma maxi joy combo okay so that one my music stopped I need some jams. This one is a medium joy. And the chiffon joys do not have a stretch in the arms. So those are the only thing you need to worry about um, with size with those. And I think you would be fine with the medium. That's going to be number 200. Number 200 medium joy. Then we've got this large, awesome color teal Irma number 213 and let me see how the stretch is on this one this one's not quite as stretchy so it'll lay a little bit more structured that's number 213 and then we have this extra large maxi it's very stretchy and it's number 253 253 okay then last but not least we had I have two more things, two more little outfits for you. So this one, um, the cranberry top kind of matched, but it wasn't like perfection like I was hoping it was going to be. The roses have a little bit more of an orange tone to them. You could probably still pull it off together um, because this was a skirt Cindy had requested. Sorry, guys. And I really, really loved it with this Lindsay, though. And I thought it would be cute with like um, a denim button up or either a brighter shirt like an off white, not necessarily a white, but an off white with these colors would look really pretty. But I loved kind of the weave or the knit of this Lindsay. Look how cool that is. And I just loved how it coordinated with the leaves in the skirt. So that was a really pretty maxi you picked out, Cindy. And I love this Lindsay with it. It's a small Lindsay and it's number 252 
And then this maxi that you picked out, I believe, was an extra large. And it's number 251. 251. And then last but not least, I have one more Lindsay and Carly combo for you. This Carly is really stretchy. It's like the Cassie material Liverpool. Um, has a really good stretch to it. It's a beautiful teal color. It's showing up blue on the camera. I wish it would show up correctly. Sorry. And um, it just has kind of a dressier look to it. It's, it's a thicker material. Definitely can be dressed up. And then I paired it with this um, red and teal Lindsay that just coordinated with it really well. I thought they looked great together. And this one's the slinky material as well, and it's a small. So the large Lindsay, sorry, the large Carly is going to be number 249. And then the large, small Lindsay, I just completely jumbled those up. Large Carly, 249. Small Lindsay, 250. So that is your wardrobe collection, Cindy. I hope it was everything that you hoped and dreamed it would be. And you can go ahead and message me the pieces that you would like to be invoiced for this evening. And then other ones you can write down and um, hope they'll be here later. And those of you who are watching and want to see what's on the recap, I'll be back in like five minutes. Thank you guys so much. And if you want your own personal styling appointment, you can fill out the Google Doc. Thanks, guys. All right, let me see if I can work this computer.